Bad for a first volley. Unfortunately, there's just so many of them. for. That's a little bit too far out. Let's try that, because it does take a second to spool up. One. Perfection! Although it mostly just kind of kicks them around a bit. Um... Drop a net. Oh, you're not close enough. Just. Gunners. All of you shoot him. Oh, you were close enough. Good. Actually, the other thing I should do is probably hit you with one of these. Just like that. Thankfully, Swordmasters of Hoeth really are not amazingly effective. They really don't seem able to dodge bullets, <laughs> which is really good. Killed 150 of them, lost only 19. Unfortunately, I feel like the uh, zombie pirate gunnery mob's going to get kind of beaten up here. Um, let's have all of you shoot them because they are coming in. And I have no counter to that right now. Vanessa, let's bring you forwards just in case. Yeah. There, that'll do. Gunners. As soon as they route, I'm going to switch fire. This is Tyrion. Um, I think I'm going to do one more grape shot here. The RNS is now in that fight. Maybe not. Let's do that. Let's get the grape shot over here. Good. And then it's going to be effectively RNS versus these guys. So, uh, good luck! Alright, those guys are all running. That's great. Let's have you two pinging it. In fact, all of you just fire at that. Are they shattered? Make sure they shatter. Now all of these guys are hand to hand. Watch me see, Father. Victory.
Did that one really badly. Oh, it didn't fire. I kind of don't want Aranessa getting into combat against Tyrion, because I don't think that's a fight she would win. Yeah, I know that did a lot of damage to the uh, axe dudes, but I'd prefer these who I keep at the end of the battle, and they can keep doing it. Like, three bombers, or having another three of these, for example. I'd prefer to have three of those. Alright, they're routing. So all of you shoot at friggin' Tyrion. And now can I please fire this thing? Why are you not firing? What's going on here? Tyrion. Can you net him? No. You chase him. I don't know why that's not available. It's very strange. Guys, I have faith in you. This is gonna be close. This is gonna be very close. Oh, we haven't hit. Oh, oh yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. Oh, you've run out of ammo. That was kind of lucky. <laughs> that was really kind of lucky. Three, two, one, zero. Oop. Stay there. There we go. I'm not convinced we'll kill our deer, but we can certainly try. Deck guns are out of ammo now. So it's going to be down to you. I don't get why this can't fire. But it's annoying. Most OP Lords of the Dragon Ogre. I think Mazda Mundi's the most OP dra uh, Lord. Mazda Mundi's ridiculous. Master Mundi. Yeah, he's gonna get away. Nothing I can do about that. But Aranessa won. Twenty-nine zero zero ninety-three eighty-one hundred and twenty-six. This is why I like those guys more. And I get to keep them. And with this, I can escape to sea. So, um, bye! Hey, Quarter Geekster. How you doing? I didn't say earlier, but it really was nice meeting you guys yesterday. That was cool. Uh, unit replenishment, zero. Okay, I'll take the money then. And she hit level 15, so that's awesome. Two were wasted on the hero. They should still have done some damage. I guess it's resisted by armor. I 
And I have so many units which are good anti low armor. I need the anti armor stuff, which is the deck gunners, and it's the um, gunnery mob. Look hot, then starboard. All you see is mine. Now you are informed. We can parley. Let me guess, you're declaring war. Note, they want me to pay the money. Just because I currently have, like, one person in my army. Not even one army, just one person in my army. Oops. Quest issued. Move any character to the following reason. Sartosa. The strength of the Kraton's bane wanes and the Sea Father's blessings are weakening. The Sea God must be in great distress, for the power he gifts to Arnessa through the Kraton's bane be wavering. So this Queen of Toids has sensed the sea is unsettled, and a storm is brewing of such scale that Arnessa herself may struggle to traverse it unscathed. Manon is clearly in pain. I don't know why I've suddenly gone Irish. This is weird. And only she can aid the deity and restore power to the Kraken's bane. So she must find the power of this pain and heal it before the seas become a maelstrom. Her first stop is Sartosa, where someone is bound to have some information about the sea's growing unrest. Alright, cool. So you're sailing back over this way. Oh, no, actually to the army. Outside the army. There you are. And you are going to... Oh, we succeeded. Ha <laughs> ha! Defeat the following lord in battle, Ragar the Ripper, whom is quite a ways away. Sartosa is a haven for pirates, smugglers, and seafaring lowlives. Sure enough, and one of its denizens swatted something all out on a recent journey in the open seas. A band of Norskan raiders were sighted slaughtering sea creatures. The rumours are that they have declared war upon Manon himself in the name of their chaos gods. In response, Aranessa immediately calls on her crew to set sail for Norska, barking out her orders with bitter, hate-filled words, for only Norskans can draw such ire from the captain. The living members of our crew make the sign of Manon, quietly reciting prayers in anticipation of the fight to come, for Saltspire has already decided the fate of the Northmen, responsible for these crimes against the sea, and along with her deckhands, she will ensure that they pay for their villainy. It's probably a good reason why the West Country borough sounds a bit Irish, that's true. It's actually really difficult to differentiate them when you're trying to do a pirate accent, too. So that was... Move a character to Sartosa. Oh, your main army is in Sartosa right now. Okay. Congrats, you succeeded. Alright, so Aranessa has completed... That stuff. Also, I got Kraken's Bane at some point. I did not even realise. When did I do that? Oh, that's when I got the harpoon, isn't it? Okay, yes. We, we did indeed get the harpoon. We could get some more of the combat stuff. Or we could get... Smuggler, which is even more campaign movement. And then after that... We probably do want to start on these. Alright, let's go. Normal move. Run away! Run away! We did our thing. We killed um, Tyrion. Shuttered gun ports. See, I'm not sold on these guys. They're tanks, so why would you have your tanks with guns? I guess they technically count as your cavalry? Oh, but this also unlocks recruitment to the gunnery white. Oh no, I've already got that. Speaking of which, can I recruit a gunnery white? I can! You can either be tough or confident. Leadership plus two all units and army. Hell yeah. Needs a name. This is going to be... Huh. Walker Shorthands. I can taste the salt. Marvellous. Right, and then you need to do a bunch of repairs. And also recruit some stuff. So we've already got the two deck gunners. 
We want to get up to four of them. We want two of those and two of those. That's five turns worth there already. Okay. All set. And you can upgrade to the officer's car. Is that what I wanted to do? No, I was going to wait until the four populations so that we can get the gunners, dudes. Yeah. And then I want you to... You're already getting the carronades, that's good. See, I'm not convinced by the Sartosa Free Companies. Because what I need the close combat guys for is tanking, and that's what these guys are good at. Let's just get a couple more of those. Then you just need to save more points so you can get some more buildings. Admiral. Skip and end turn. Actually, no, we could probably recruit another vampire as well. Dear Terra. Cunning, aggressive. Perceptive! There we go! That's one I'd like. Perceptive, and you're also of the Fleet depths. Captain, reporting. So Fleet you captain, are going to join reporting. Aranessa. And you are henceforth going to be known as... Uh, Aristide. Alright, good. Let's get those guys rebuilding. And how long until you're back again? Two turns. So it's Arnessa, it's Trusty, and then Mike Black. Yeah, okay, cool. I think that's all I wanted to do this turn. Onwards! Southern Ireland, Cornwall, incredibly pirate for quite a long time. Well, I think that they have a West Country accent because the main port to the Caribbean was Plymouth and Bristol. So that's why pirates talk West Country, but why West Country and Irish have like a similar burr, as you called it, and it's actually a fairly decent word for it. Um, oh, it wasn't Lothan who rebuilt the Glittering Tower, it was someone else. Interesting. Might be because there was a lot of population exchange? I don't know. Migration between the two? And there are the Middle Sea Brigands, from whom I am now running. So you train, train them. Oh. Yeah, see, part of the problem is I can't recruit these multiple turn Stay recruit alert. things. Danger lurks here. Um. Because that's a fight I would lose right now. So I can definitely recruit those. We're up to 11 units. We really need to get you back to Sartosa so you can replenish, or at least to fire us and then attack it. You could even get to level 5. Interesting. That's a massive amount of upkeep cost reduction. Your armies are actually going to be surprisingly cheap. I see somewhere, like, how much you actually have. Minus 16% upkeep. And that's gonna go up as we get more levels. Not likely. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel these, I'm afraid. Because we need to keep moving. We're ship shape. In fact, I think I'm gonna do this this turn. Run away! Run away! Thankfully, we are very, very quick. So they do seem to have perhaps slowed down movement overseas because this I don't remember it being this slow. Death. Although I guess we're going over ocean rather than shallows. That probably does make the difference. Ship shape. Kill or be killed. You want to go over there and join them. The sea brings death. And you want to build the hole inside and continue recruits. Well, actually. 
There's not a whole lot of useful stuff that you can recruit in Sartosa right now. I'm wondering if you want to go for the uh, Shrine of Loak and just keep raising people as you move. I think that is what you want to do. And with that, we double check to see if there's any other people next turn. Cool! Hey, the Heine freak! You got your PC back, so you can watch me again. Awesome! Welcome back. Right, so the flame were obliterated. Weren't they the ones who were trying to kill me? Oh no, that was Arigo. Wax and wane as the great vortex vacillates on its axis. The winds of magic fluctuate distressingly, eliciting wide-eyed portents of doom from the head wizards throughout the empire. Your troops are cowed by the omens, and the leadership has decreased faction wide. My troops are cowed. That's impossible. Get me back on the ocean, docking. Ready. Follow the salt spikes. Fair wind. Fleet captain reporting. Time to press gun. Salt water. Okay, so you've got all of the troops that you were supposed to have, and I think. We're now far enough away from that dude. Oh, except I put you... Damn it, you're full speeding again. Curses. Well, we can now go ahead and recruit Mike Black once more. Leave you in the fleet, in the thingy. Build me... Two of those, two of those. And... Yeah, see, you at least can build these guys. And there are no zombie pirate deckhands available anymore. You have seven points of surplus. Next turn you can actually build the hand-to-hand um, -hand dude building, which is going to be great. And now we're back up to three fleets, which makes me very happy. Black leveled up. He is the vampire who is currently working on getting the black flag himself. Admiral of the fleet. You need to wait another turn. You need to not be in that stance. I feel like now that you're here, we can see enough that we have warning when the bad guys are coming in. So, with that in mind, let's get two of those. You've already got the deck gunners. Artillery, that's what you need to start working on. I don't know, do I want more... Do I want to use hand cannons, or do, do I just want to double up on the uh, d deck gunners? Because the deck gunners do such a ridiculous amount of damage. And I'm not really expecting them to be very tanky. Which is what their main use would be. I might just double up on the deck gunners. Me. Oops, that's not what I meant. Go away. Yes? Can't recruit a gunnery white either. 
Alright. And then also Arnessa can, yeah, build this stuff. I mean, you have the eight required to get a spa deck, which would resolve a lot of the problems I'm having. That's actually another point. I could and probably should be using Rotting Prometheans as my front row, rather than Gunnery Mob. No, Deckhand Mob. Expensive to build, though. Seven thousand hit points, one hundred and twenty armor. Yeah, those would definitely be the best tank units I could use. They do struggle against spears, but hopefully we can just take out any spear units before they get close. And we're not currently fighting the Dark Elves, who are much more spear heavy than High Elves. Let me see what the garrison's like. Not very big. Do I want to attack it this turn or next turn? Oh, you know what else I'm forgetting? Hold on. Stop all of the things. You actually do need to land. You might be right. My compass! 